from the Highlander and his wife losing their first daughter after a terrible miscarriage, to Blackjack making Mrs. Fraser watch while he tortured her husband. Here are Jamie and Claire's most tragic moments in Outlander. For starters, it was incredibly heartbreaking seeing Claire accept the death of her daughter while blaming her husband for her miscarriage. You see, in the events leading up to that tragedy, Fraser decided to duel Black Jack, despite Mrs. Fraser pleading him not. And being the fiercely protective wife she is, the Sassanac couldn't just sit back and watch, so she ran towards the scene of the fight. But just as the Highlander was about to get into serious trouble, his wife let out a scream and started to feel an intense pain in her belly. From there on out, we were all biting our nails as Claire was taken to the hospital. But sadly, her baby ended up being stillborn. Seeing the Sassanac lying on the bed, almost lifeless as the nurses cleaned up the blood around her, was so painful to watch. But the most gut-wrenching part comes when she reunites with Jamie. Mrs. Fraser clearly blamed his duel with Randall for sending her into early labor. And while she let it all out, we also saw flashbacks of her cradling Faith's lifeless body in her arms for what feels like an eternity. Gosh, the part where she silently cries while singing to her daughter is bound to make anyone cry. As if the emotional roller coaster wasn't enough, there was also a moment when we feared Claire might not survive the childbirth herself. But while this experience created a painful rift between Mr. and Mrs. Fraser, in the end, the couple does find solace in visiting their daughter's grave before deciding to return to Scotland. Jamie even leaves one of his family's heirloom spoons behind as a keepsake to make sure Faith has a piece of their homeland with her always. You best believe the Fraser family is really into sentimental gifts. Hell, Claire even risked her own life once to make sure she could save the wedding ring the Highlander gave her from getting robbed. The reason why this was a soul-crushing moment for the couple was because the only special thing gifted between them were their wedding rings. It was a symbol of their love, what they had faced together, and the painful moments they had overcome. Not to mention the Sassanek's custom wedding ring was made from the key to Lallybrock, aka Jamie's childhood home. And I bet the couple probably blamed themselves for the robbery because they were the ones who helped him escape in the first place. You see, Mr. and Mrs. Fraser, being the kind souls they are, thought that letting Stephen Bonnet go wouldn't be such a big deal. After all, he seemed harmless enough. But the guy repaid their kindness by pulling off a full-on heist in the dead of night. Now, Claire tried her best to hide both Jamie and Frank's rings by stuffing them in her mouth. But Bonnet grabbed her by the throat and, in a chaotic turn of events, he managed to snatch one ring from her mouth before she swallowed the other. Gross, I know. But the tragic part comes when the Sassanac ends up puking up the ring and finds out that it isn't Fraser's but Frank's. As she realizes she's lost the Highlander's ring forever, we can't help but let out a few tears with her. As bad as this moment is, though, it's not the only time this couple was attacked by a group of men. One of the first incidents that went down in season one was when the two decided to take a little break and have some intimate time in the field. But guess what? Two redcoats showed up looking for trouble. They instantly snatched Jamie away from Claire, leaving her helpless. And then things took a terrifying turn when one of them started forcing himself on the Sassanac while making her husband watch. Poor Mrs. Fraser was frozen with fear at that moment, while the Highlander struggled like crazy to save his wife. But as sickening as that scene was, Claire somehow went into full-on survival mode. She pulled out a dagger she had hidden in her skirt and shoved it deep into one of those scumbags. Thankfully, the distraction gave Fraser a chance to break free and fight off both men. While the couple was able to get out of that situation soon, though, this moment left a big mark on Mrs. Fraser. Not only was she sexually violated, but it was the first time she took a man's life. And Jamie, boy, he was devastated that he couldn't protect his wife while she had to endure such a horrifying experience. It's true the Highlander has felt quite helpless many times in the show, and in one of the biggest tear-jerking moments ever comes the scene where Fraser decided to send his wife back to the future. Believe me, it wasn't an easy choice to make right off the bat. With the Battle of Culloden near, Jamie knew deep down that he had to keep Claire and their unborn child safe. Also, in case something happened to him, Jamie wanted them to be well taken care of. And here's the thing, Mrs. Fraser. 
being a time traveler from the future, already knew how the battle would play out. She understood that the Highlander and his band of soldiers would lose, so as tough as it was, she knew she had to do what was best for their baby. Honestly, many of us weren't sure whether Claire would actually go through those mystical stones, but when the couple reached the time-traveling spot, the gravity of the situation hit us like a ton of bricks. The scene where Jamie and his wife cherished every word, every touch and every step they took toward the stones was absolutely soul-crushing to watch. I mean, we genuinely believed that these two would never see each other again, and the Highlander would never meet his own daughter. You can only imagine the pain Claire felt, knowing she was leaving her husband behind to face the brutal battle alone. Also, it wasn't like Fraser was having a field day either. He missed her every single day she was gone, and you could see just how much he wanted to see her again, judging by how desperately he went looking for the Sassanach on Silky Island, thinking she might have somehow traveled back to his time. You see, the Highlander was asked to gather information from Duncan Kerr and report back to John Gray, who believed the man knew something about a treasure. Now, most of what Jamie heard was a jumble of words that didn't make sense. But one thing that stood out was the mention of a white witch, which, if you remember, was a term often used to describe Claire in the 1700s. In that instant, as soon as the Highlander realized his wife could somehow be involved, he found a new sense of purpose and quickly tracked down where the treasure was located, keeping all of the information a secret from Gray. Then three days later, when Fraser couldn't contain his desperation any longer, he escaped from Ardsmuir, hoping to find Silky Island and, ultimately, Claire. His journey was tough, to say the least. This man went through some pretty rough lands and seas until he finally reached the island, calling out for his one true love with everything that he had. But of course, we knew she wasn't there. And as soon as the Highlander realized that, all hope in him was lost forever. Jamie was so crushed that he left the treasure behind and turned himself in at the prison he escaped from. I could hardly bear to watch this heartbreaking moment. But, believe me, it was nothing compared to where Black Jack put Fraser through unspeakable torture in prison and made Claire witness some of the heinous acts. We know that Randall was capable of the vilest behavior, but none of us could have expected him to use the Sassanac life as bait, forcing Jamie to willingly endure the terrible pain that awaited him. And it didn't just end there. The Redcoat decided to make Mrs. Fraser watch as he nailed her husband's hand down on the table, followed by some of the most twisted acts. And as Claire bawled her eyes out, pleading with Black Jack to let her beloved go, he did nothing but smile at her face before throwing her out of the prison. After that came a drawn-out sequence of the most terrible wave of torture that Jamie would ever experience in his life. Not only was he repeatedly hit during the night, but he was also humiliated and sexually violated. And while the Highlander suffered, we can't even imagine what Claire must have been going through, every minute that she spent trying to rescue him out of that place. Eventually, Fraser escapes, but not without the physical and emotional scars that lasted all the way till season four. So there you have it, from Black Jack making Mrs. Fraser watch while he tortured her husband, to the Highlander and his wife losing their first daughter after a terrible miscarriage. These were Jamie and Claire's most tragic moments in Outlander.